pint size goodness. So you saw my review on the Hannah Mods version 3. Today I'm going to be talking about the Hannah Mods version 3 mini. Big difference in size. As you guys could see, huge difference. I mean, look at that. Before we get into this review any further, I got to give a shout out to Trent. Trent, if you're watching this, I appreciate it, brother. Trent is the guy who owns and runs Hannah Mods. And he sent this mini to me for free to review for you guys. I also want to clear up something else. In my Hannah Mods version 3 review, I mentioned that you can call him up and you can order directly from him. That's actually incorrect. So I apologize for that false information. His number is on his site, but you cannot call him directly and order a Hannah Mods product. That was basically my experience, okay? I called him up, I talked to him for a few minutes, then told him who I was. Fortunately, I was able to get one. Unfortunately, most of you guys cannot do that. And I'm sorry for giving that false information in my last video. I really apologize. But there's a good news. If you go to HannahMods.com and you click on Authorized Dealers, it's at the top, on the front page at the top. It's the furthest icon to the right, Authorized Dealers. You click on that and it'll take you to a page of all the stores that carry these products. The only thing is, went to all the sites on there, none of them have these devices in stock right now. So that sucks. Some that are announcing they're gonna be carrying these products at the end of this month, March of 2014. Like I said, they all have their numbers listed. And if you call them, you could probably get on a waiting list. But yeah, the mini. Man, the color is absolutely gorgeous. It's a cerulean blue. And with all these Hannah Mods, the version three and the mini, I love the uh, the finish. It's like a metallic finish. So like this is a, like a metallic cherry red. And then this is that metallic cerulean blue, which I just mentioned. Look at the size difference. I mean, it's huge, huge difference. This version three carries a 18650 battery, 2000 milliamp hour battery, whereas this mini carries a 1200 milliamp hour LiPo battery. Big difference, okay? I really prefer the LiPo batteries, but I find that when you get below a certain point, like with this 1200 versus something like the 2400 milliamp hour LiPo battery, this 1200 does not last long at all. I've been vaping on her at 30 watts for the last hour, and look at that battery life. I mean, it's pretty much completely dead. And that's only an hour of vape time. I don't even chain vape. I vape like every like five to 10 minutes. So you can imagine someone who wants to vape above 20 watts, 20, 25, 30 watts. You're not gonna get much vape time out of this LiPo battery. So this device is not for someone who's looking for long battery life. It's not for someone who's out and about who wants three, four, five, six hours of vape time regulated. It's not like that, okay? You get an hour of regulated vape time without the USB cord. But this is for someone who is sitting by their computer all day, typing away, you know, like for me, like I'm packaging orders, I'm editing videos, I'm sitting in one spot most of the time. For me, this device is perfect. All I gotta do is plug in the USB cord and when you buy a Hannah Mods version 3 mini or version 3, you're going to receive a USB cord with your purchase. It stretches out like that, about two feet. Plug it into my computer, plug the USB into my device, and I get regulated vape time, and it never goes dead. It constantly charges. Now, if the device I'm vaping on, let's say I don't have a USB, I'm up here shooting a review, I don't have a computer in here, I'm vaping, I'm vaping, I'm vaping, an hour goes by, it dies off. I'll plug that USB in and let it sit for 10 minutes, let it recharge a little bit, and then I'm good to go. I can vape, 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 vape. And as long as I have that USB in there, plugged into my computer, into this device, and I'm vaping, I can vape all day, all night. It's never gonna die out because it's constantly charging. So it's for someone who's more sedentary. <laughs> but yeah, this is for someone who wants a lot longer vape time, who's out and about, who's not sedentary. That being said, I am loving this device, and I'm loving this device because it is tiny. Just like my wife said, as soon as I received this product, she saw it in my hand, and she was like, what is that? I gotta have it. And she just took it. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, hey babe, what are you doing? Oh, this thing is so cute. And I'm sitting there like, huh? I guess that's uh, that's one word for it, is uh, it's cute. This thing is cute. It's not even the size of my palm. Not even the size of my freaking palm. Crazy. So I love it for its size. Just like the version three, 
Everything else is the same other than the size and the battery. The version 3 has a DNA 30 chip in it. So does the Mini. It's got a DNA 30 chip. Going to go over this again, but a DNA 30 chip is made by a company called Evolve. And what Hannah's Mods does is they purchase these chips from Evolve, put them in their own devices, and sell them. Like I said, it's a DNA 30 watt device. You can vape between 7 watts and 30 watts. These two buttons at the bottom is where you adjust your wattage. The top one adjusts the wattage up, the bottom one adjusts the wattage down. The very top button, that's your fire button. So I got the Zenith version one on here. The build I have in here is a 24 gauge super nano micro coil, which I have a tutorial coming very soon. Oh yeah, and the 24 gauge super nano micro coil is reading out to 0.4 ohms. Got her all the way up to 30 watts. At 30 watts, I mean it's a regulated 30 watts. Just like the Hannah Mods version three, you're getting the same exact vape experience. But the only thing is, like I mentioned before, it's all about battery and what you got in here. And this is a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which does not last nearly as long as the 18650. I mean, I get three times the battery life than I do with this device, especially when you're vaping 20 watts or higher. Five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. It locks the screen. That way you can't fire it to unlock it so you can fire it. One, two, three, four, five. It's unlocked, so it fires right up. So that is how to lock it and unlock it. If you want to run it in stealth mode or normal mode, normal mode meaning when you fire it, you can see the screen. And on that screen, you can see your wattage, your resistance, your voltage, and your battery life. Just like that. But you also have an option to run it in stealth mode. And in order to do that, what you got to do is you got to lock the screen. One, two, three, four, five. Locks the device. Then what you do is you hold the fire button down and the uh, down wattage down at the same time. And you'll see it switch to stealth mode. And once you see stealth mode on that screen, you let go. Then what you do is you unlock it. That screen is black. That's stealth mode. Nothing's showing. Now to change back to normal mode, five clicks, one, two, three, four, five, to lock it, hold down the wattage down button and the fire button at the same time. And once it says normal, let go, unlock it. There you go, as you can see. With this being a regulated device, I noticed that with these DNA chips, there's a lot of safety that goes on within these chips. For example, if I've got a device that is not making connection, it's going to say check atomizer. Okay, if I have a device that, let's say I wrap a coil, the coil pops, or the leads aren't making complete connection with the posts, then it's going to say check atomizer. If something is wrong, it will let you know. If you have a short, it will let you know. It will say shorted. If the device gets too hot, it will shut down and let you know it's too hot. I mean, all of these safety precautions, that's what you're paying for with the DNA 30 chip. Here's your USB port. You got your screen, which I just showed you. The Hannah Mods logo right here. The version three has a serial number on the front. There's no serial number on this mini. You turn it around and on the back, there's the Hannah Mods that says the version three. Just like the regular version three, you've got a vent hole at the base. Here's your fire button, nice clicky fire button, the up and down, adjusting your wattage. Those buttons are nice and clicky. There is the top of the device. As you can see, it's got a recessed cup with your 510 connection. Buttery smooth threads. Every device that I've screwed on, whether it's an RDA, an RBA, an RTA, it doesn't matter. It's screwed on. It's set flush. Just because of that recessed cup, most devices have that flush look. The back is held on by two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom. Once you take those screws out, you take the back off. Inside there, you can see your 
lipo battery over here and then all the other circuitry is uh, covered off and that's what I love about Hannah's mods everything is neat under the hood I mean super neat most devices aren't like that with most other devices you see uh, super glue you know they don't really cover their tracks nothing's neat the casing is made of built aluminum super solid the only con that I can come up with and this is for someone else who vapes outdoors or is not at a desk all day is that the battery life this thing dies out super fast for me i can only go an hour before i have to recharge this thing and this battery is completely dead but like i said it's not a con for me but it may be for you and if so and you want something with longer battery life go with the regular v3 oh yeah also you remember how in the v3 video i talked about how when i got juice on this, the finish would stain. I have not had that problem with this finish. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the color, but I haven't had that issue. Like I discussed at the beginning, where you can get this device, if you go to hannahmods.com and you search at the top, you'll see authorized dealers or distributors. Click on that link. All the shops will pop up that carry this product or will be carrying this product, and that's how you get one. And from uh, what I saw, these are $250. If Trent hadn't have sent this to me, would I have purchased it? The honest answer to that is no. And the only reason is, is because I already purchased a V3, so I, I would feel no need to buy a Mini. But now that I have the Mini, I can tell you this. I prefer this over the V3. I like the size, it's more comfortable, and as long as I have the USB wire plugged up to this device, I'm good to go. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.